Welcome to PikaPods.com, a place where you can run the finest open source web apps from just $1 per month. Under view available apps, you will find over 60 apps you can deploy immediately. And we are adding new apps regularly. These apps are fully managed and you don't need your own servers to run them. And you can use your own domain. When you find the app you like, just click on run your own and you can create an account to use it. In this video, I will be explaining ListMonk. This is a self-hosted newsletter and mailing list manager. And this app is perfect for people who want to build a list of subscribers and send out email campaigns. I already have this app installed in my pods library in PikaPods, and I will click on open pod. ListMonk is similar to other mailing apps. You can manage thousands of subscribers across many single and double opt-in lists. You can send messages as email, SMS, WhatsApp messages, or any medium via messenger interfaces. And you can also create email templates in various formats. You see that the dashboard is very easy to navigate. There is a sidebar menu. If you click on dashboard, you will see the overview of your account how many lists you have, how many subscribers, campaigns, and how many messages you have sent. Under lists, you will find the only mailing list that you have. Then there is subscriber options, so you will see all the subscribers that have signed up to your list. You can easily download the data or edit each subscriber. There are the campaigns, templates, and settings. Before you start creating lists and sending emails, we need to do some settings. On the left side, if you go under settings and if you click on settings, you would have to set up your default from email. But just a quick note here is that this can be changed per campaign. You can either use Gmail or your official email that is connected to your own website. So for example, I can place in the test name or my official name and then use my Gmail address. Under SMTP, you would have to also set up your host. If you do not own a website or do not have your own domain, then you can just disable this one and enable a Gmail host. You would place in your Gmail address over here, then the authentication protocol would be either a login or any other one. You will type in your username, password, and then you can test the connection if you click on test connection at the bottom right and try to send out the email for you to see if your SMTP is working. And let's try to create our first email in ListMonk. And let's try to create our first email in ListMonk. So click on campaigns and click on create new. Let's give a name to our campaign. Then we need to set the subject line. You can pick the from address that you want this campaign to be sent from. And this can be changed for every email or campaign that you send. You can leave it as is. Then pick the list to which you want to send this campaign or test email to. I will pick on default list that we have already in our list monk. I will leave the template for this email as default. And I will leave tags empty. Click on continue. Then it's time to write our email. I already have an email prepared, so I'll just copy and paste it. I will change some of the fields and you can then edit this a bit further. You can bold it. You can increase the size of the text. You can change the colors, add images and so on. If you click on file, you can click on your document, you can edit it. You can insert the link table as well, use emoticons and so on. Once you're satisfied with the email, click on preview to see how it will look like. And you can see the preview. Once you're done, you can click on save changes and you can start the campaign to send out this campaign immediately. If you go back under all campaigns, you will find our draft version or the demo version of our campaign. You can then change the settings over here. If you click on a rocket icon, this will immediately start your campaign. If you click on preview, this will preview the email. You can clone 
this template. You will see the analytics as well. Or you can delete the campaign completely. Under templates, you will see the templates that you can use for your emails. If you do not like the basic style of the email that we used, you can always create a new one. Click on new at the top right. And then you can add a name to your new template. Choose the type for your template. It's either campaign or transactional. And then you need to place in the raw HTML of your template. But we will focus on coding this HTML in other videos. On the left side menu, under lists, you can find you can find the list for your subscribers. So basically, whenever someone arrives at your blog or website, and if you set up the newsletter option, you can put the subscribers in a completely new list. Instead of using these default lists, in ListMonk, you can create a new one. Click on a new at the top right, and then name your new list. I will name it as blog newsletter. You can set this new list as private or public. Note that the public lists are open to the world to subscribe and their names may appear on public pages such as subscription management page. We can leave it as private. You can have a single or double opt-in. I will leave it as single. So double opt-in would send an email to the subscriber asking for confirmation. Under tags, you can maybe put newsletter and then you can add a description. Once you're finished, click on save. There you go, our blog newsletter list is right here. Since we have zero subscribers in our blog newsletter, you can import the subscribers from the list menus. Just click on the file button or the file icon and import subscribers. And then you can import your subscribers with a CSV or zip file. Also from the list menu for each list, you can send a campaign immediately. Just click on a rocket in order to create a completely new campaign that you want to send out. And the process of creating a new campaign would be the same as we showed before. So these are the basic features of ListMonk. We will be showcasing even more advanced features later in our videos. If you like our videos and our YouTube channel, hit on the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family. You can quickly get access to ListMonk through PikaPods. Just click on View Available Apps, and when you register on PikaPods, you will get a $5 free starting credit. Thank you for watching.